Hi there, how are you doing? Stuart from Hot Aerials here in Asia. Um, we've had a few questions about how we actually carry some of our equipment with us when we go overseas on, on various flight missions and things like that, and also in Hong Kong and, and around the region. So we thought we'd do a, a, a quick uh, intro to some of our kit and how we package it away um, while we're here shooting this lovely little waterfall for a client. So we're going to shoot this afterwards, but for the time being, I'll just introduce you to some of the kit. We're constantly building new kits. So here's a new one that we've just built for specifically a job down here. We've got basically a bazooka with a think tank bazooka and we've got three Pelican cases that we carry with us. We've got the uh, 350 cube, we've got the uh, 1620 case and we've got a 1610 case over here. So if we just come over to this one first, like I said, this is actually the 350 cube, and inside this, so this is the S800 with, with retractable um, legs. And so if I just pull it out, it just pulls out like that, the, uh, the next seven gimbal, which, which is good gimbal, absolutely, um, and various other bits on that. We try to keep it built as much as possible, because to be honest with you, it's such a faff when we get to clients and we have to rebuild it and rebuild it. So. We prefer to carry it as it is. So I'm just going to pass this over to Jack, and Jack's going to start building this for us. Cheers, buddy. Jack's one of our technicians. He's also one of our pilots. We have quite a few pilots, and, and Jack's one of the main squeezes. So as well as inside there, you've actually got the main module on the top with all of your Wukong and IMU stuff and things like that on there with the GPS and control systems and the Futaba. There you go, Jack. OK, so we've just done the cube and what's inside the 350 cube. Uh, inside the 1620 case now, what we've got is, if I just open this up, um, we've got all of our props in a nice little case there, so I'll pass those over to Jack. You'll see we've got a bunch of, uh, bunch of batteries in there. Uh, we've got some nice large batteries, six cell, three cell, and then we've got the two units, two uh, Futaba T14 SGs, one for gimbal control and one for control on the main system. The next one is what we've got right here is the 1610 Pelican case right here. And this one's, this one's pretty bloody heavy, actually. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, either that or I'm getting to be a wimp. But what this one is, this is our main transmission system with all the HD gear in there. So what we'll do is we'll throw that up onto there and that gives us a nice platform there to work from. So inside this is the following. A nice little TV there, as you can see, with the AZO monitor. You'll notice I'm keeping hold of the top at the moment because what we've got first is we've got a little strap system here which actually stops the monitor system from falling down. And we'll just clip that all on there. All right, so that, that's got a little bit of security there. Um, what we've got then is we've actually got some nice little side pieces here and a top piece as well. And if I just lift this out, you'll see what's inside there. Um, I'll just slot that over the top there. That's actually for a cube when we put the cube on there. We'll just do that, down like that, slot that down. So this gives us a, a nice little screen light system. And that goes in there like so. And you see, that's, that's our main system right there. The next thing I'm going to need to do is, I've got my little tripod here. Just a, a, a standard Manfrotto tripod with a little quick clip system up there. Okay, so this is our main receiver for the HD system. It works really well with a SDI, HD SDI system as well as HDMI output. So we're just going to put that onto there like so. All right, nice and tightened up. Um, we've got a bunch of receiver aerials that just go on so. Okay, I like to make me little man. There, we're using HDMI at the moment on this because of the camera system that we're using. Uh, this is the transmitter that goes on the aircraft. Uh, I'm just going to put the aerials onto that. So I said, I'll pass that to Jack because Jack's going to put that on the aircraft. There you go, Jack. So we got our transmitter system, we got our receiver system. The other thing that we're going to use on there as well is power. 
we're just going to use a 3S battery and that literally just sits in there and the last thing for that is a nice little cable not going to power it on just yet but there's the connection the power it just sits in there like so and as you can see the lights are lighting up so it works a treat really um, that probably probably lasts us about 40 minutes next thing inside the case is we actually have a, a power inverter so we can chill 12 volts to 220 volts uh, we got a bunch of batteries we try to be self-contained on set and we actually have a lot of batteries that we take out with us and a lot for a lot of power we just connect that up like so um, we can then plug in our power from the monitor turn it on and you'll see we've got now power another system that we use which is the cube and we can actually plug that in and that goes onto the top there's no interference here we've tested it it works a treat um, and what we can do now is we can actually pass out an iPad on set to a few people and they can monitor it on the set as well so say for instance we've got our pilot we've got our gimbal operator and then we've got a couple of observers that are maintaining things they can actually be seeing the shot as well so which is quite important actually just the more people in the picture that can see it the better stopwatch so we can actually uh, start and stop timing so we've got somebody else who's monitoring timing when we're in the air but that's just to introduce our little setup here so I hope that that's worthwhile we'll We'll put a few shots in there as well from when we shoot this. Um, it's starting to get nice out here, so thanks for watching. See you later.